One of the main things I teach people is email productivity. And a big thing that goes along with that is keeping your notifications turned off. That keeps you from having distractions when you're working on projects or working on email itself. But a lot of people don't know how to turn their notifications off, especially in Outlook. So I'll show you how to turn off Outlook notifications today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I'll show you how to turn off or turn on your Outlook notifications depending on what you need and some other customizable pieces about your notifications, including those reminders that pop up as well. And this is all in the desktop client, which means this is the program that lives on your computer. This is not the Outlook web application. The reason I think it's important for you to know how to turn your notifications on and off is because the notifications, especially in Outlook, can sometimes be very distracting because they often have the pop-up and the sound and multiple things that are going on every time an email comes in. If you're someone who has quite a bit of email volume coming in, that's extremely distracting. What I recommend is that you keep notifications off all of the time, but I know for some people that doesn't work. So there is a way to customize which ones you have on, which ones you have off, what sounds are being played, all of those types of things are customizable. The reason I typically recommend keeping them off is because when you're working on email and you're trying to respond to an email or read your email, it's very distracting to have something pop up or play a sound that keeps you from continuing on the path that you were doing. So the only reason you should need notifications is if you have very time sensitive emails that come in. And so you need to be notified every time they come in. Another piece that I would recommend is when you're not working on email, turn off your email program completely, especially if you're someone who uses notifications. Have a specific time frame that can be carved out that you can work on other projects, maybe making phone calls, and turn the email off for that time frame. If you're someone who has very important emails coming in, turn it off for 30 minutes so that you can get something concrete done, then turn it back on. To get to your settings for your notifications, you will go to File in this upper left corner, and then all the way down here to options. This is where a lot of the Outlook settings live. And I highly recommend you kind of go through here and see, really read the headings. If you're not familiar with how to do all this stuff, read the headings and see if there's some things that would pertain to you and things that you might want to customize. What we're looking for here is our notifications. And there's two different places for those. Mail here on the left is your first one and you can see it's at this bottom section. Message arrival is what they call it. And this is saying when new messages arrive and you get to choose what happens or does not happen. I would recommend at least turning off the sound that's distracting to a lot of people and then show an envelope icon in the taskbar that's the bottom right corner. That's when that little envelope pops up and displaying a desktop alert, that's when the actual preview of the email pops up in that little box in the bottom right corner. And you can see that a combination of all of these is available. The other place that controls notifications, you can see this is more about email. The other one is about other kinds of reminders, calendar reminders, task reminders. Those are all in this advanced section here. And again, it's right here at the bottom, reminders. Here you can say show reminders. That's that box that pops up that has all of your reminders for this time frame. And sometimes you'll have them pop up over and over again if you're someone who doesn't dismiss them. And here you have multiple options as well. You can show the reminders or not. You can have it play a sound or not. I choose to not have the sounds. As I said before, I find that the most distracting. Some people think the visual is more distracting and then showing reminders at the top of the other windows. That means if you're working on an email and you have Outlook open and there's multiple windows, it'll pop up to the top so that that's what you see. And then lastly, automatically dismissing reminders for past calendar events. You can choose that if you have something pop up and you usually don't pay attention to it, you can have it disappear after the event is over. 
You'll be amazed how much more productive you can be when you turn off these notifications that are very distracting to you. And again, you choose what is most distracting and what you need depending on what business you're in. A real estate agent may need those pop-ups coming up to let them know that there's new emails because they have a lot of time sensitive things going on. Same with lawyers, lots of other professions have that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just if you're in those professions, make sure that you carve out time to work on what what you need to do and don't always be at the whim of what other people need. For professions where critical information isn't coming in through email, I do recommend turning off all notifications and having specific times that you work on email and then specific times that you're working on something else and really just turn off the email program completely when you're not working on email. And I have a whole nother video about these email productivity tips that I will put a link to in the notes below. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have a question, feel free to put that in the comments as well. I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And please subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, a bell icon will show up. That will allow you to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.